Hey everybody, this is Jeff here at Money Plus Homestead. Um, just gonna give you a little update on what I've done to the farm and uh, introduce you to a couple of newcomers. For one, there's Dexter. Hi, Dexter. Son of his puppy. Um, he's about, I think, eight weeks old now. We got him a little early. Oh, hi, Joy. And there's Joy. Um, we lost our last pup. I had a little accident and ended up losing him. So we we got this guy. Uh, it's been a while now, but it always seemed to warm up to him. Uh, she kind of bullies him around, but you know, I know she's just playing. Um, one other thing, I got the ducks moved over here. Uh, probably shortly after the video. Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me, it's kind of windy out today. Uh, as you can see, they've taken that little ditch and pretty much made it a uh, sloppy mess. Um, we've gotten new ducks since then as well. Uh, some of these guys will probably be going to the freezer. Um, we might keep some of the females too. I guess they're really good mothers, so we thought about if we ever decided to hatch some eggs or something, we'd use them. But as you see, I've got the duck houses moved over here as well. They seem to be pretty happy. Um, the new ducks' house is clear over there, that red box. Uh, the reason it's way over there is because it's really heavy and it's the closest I can move the truck to. Um, but their, their fence goes from that front all the way to the back corner and behind the fireplace here. Um, just on the other side of this house. This house was a uh, dog house at first that someone gave us and I just added this door onto it and over here this wall needed replaced and uh, so when I replaced it I pretty much just I built a, a door on it to where when I need to I can get in here and I can put more hay in which as you can see needs more hay um, and clean it out when I need to, which has uh, been pretty nice because it would be very hard to get to that doorway, but it works pretty good for them. So, um, so they're taken care of pretty good. Just gotta get some more hay in there. Um, and I think they're really enjoying it. Another thing that I moved them over here was, uh, more shade. You see there's a bunch of trees around. Um, so during the summer, Front. They only had a little bit of shade. They had a hide in the grass, which worked for them. But I also, my goose is starting to fly, and she has gotten out of the pen a couple times, but she sticks near it. And at least this way, they're not right next to the highway. Come on, Dexter. Here comes my little pup. <laughs> uh, he's doing pretty good. A very happy puppy. So in here, um, for the pigs, I, got, I took some pallets, built a wall along the inside of the shed here to kind of help keep uh, the cold air out a little bit better, maybe kind of shelter it a little bit better. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes in it. So uh, I also had to build up the dirt because this front half will flood out and it would run back into their pen and flood them out. So I did that. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of hay, and that right there is the reason we had baby piggies. Uh, we had seven to start out with. Um, we lost two of the first eggs. We didn't realize they were in here. Joy, get out. Hey, get out. Uh, Mom's doing really good, though. Anyway, um, Dad's doing really good. Uh, we're, we're down to four. We lost one. Just a couple days ago, he kind of got in the water. Um, these guys are a week old today. Uh, as you can see, that one is the runt. He's very, very tiny, but um, they all seem to be doing really good. Mom seems to be taking care of them really good. Um, the I had the water in here, as you remember. Uh, I talked about putting it in here. Well, I had to move it out because that one got into it and got 
it froze to death. So, but mommy's happy, dad's happy. Um, we were gonna move dad out uh, after we found out, but then we realized he's doing really good with them, and we don't want him trying to break out of the other pen to get back over to his babies. So, we've been leaving him together until these guys get a little older. Uh, close to the time mom starts to wean him, which I think is in about another six or seven weeks um, and we'll be getting him out and uh, we'll see what we've got. I know we've got a girl, two two girls I believe in this batch. Um, I haven't gotten to check out the others, but they're, they're all doing pretty good. So, um, at least they seem to be doing good. They've gotten pretty big since, since they were born. So, but that's, that's it for the pigs. You're being silly, Joy. Just hanging out. So you can see the pigs don't even care about the dog. They're very relaxed. Um, I can get in there and hang out with them even and kind of pet the babies and whatever. And they just, they really don't care. They're pretty laid back pigs. Um, so that's for the pigs. That's, I mean, they're, they're doing good. And off to the goats. Now I talked about in my last video cutting down, um, well taking off that side roof, the extended roof on the goat house, which I did get done. I also did get a six foot fence in the back half of the paddock because uh, they were jumping the chain link because it wasn't very steady. Um, this vine had grew through it and kind of messed it all up in the post, so I put a new one in. These guys are doing pretty good. They're getting their fur coats in for winter. Hi, Cosmo. He's slowly start, starting to warm up to me. Um, not much, though, but he'll, he'll say hello. Hi, buddy. Um, yeah, hi. He's still pretty pretty uh, wild, so, but he's he's learned to warm up. Stormy, we'll see. Um, so as I was saying, I got the six foot fence in the back. I got that side roof cut off. I also got, as you can see, there was that fence that here, it was like a dog uh, pen. I got that moved out and I resided the shed. Um, and then inside, I also took some um, pallet board and and went all the way around to kind of help insulate it a little bit better too because you see there's a bunch of holes in this tin um, and so there's a bunch of breezes coming through a bunch of gaps you can see there's a big gap there so um, but they still got plenty of air flow through uh, to help ventilate it um, and they've got their two feeders and well their one feeder this is their um, well, baking powder, and, or uh, baking soda and minerals. Uh, we got this, it's a horse hay feeder, I guess. Uh, they broke the box a while back, and so we started using this, we found this, started using it. And it actually works really good. I was nervous they were gonna eat it, but they don't touch it at all. Uh, as you can see, they've already ate all the hay out of it that I gave them this morning. Now their bucket, which is their water bucket, and it's not very big. I need to get it up uh, on the wall so they're not knocking it over, which they don't tend to knock it over very well. They're very much uh, when it's full. Normally it's empty when it's knocked over, but I uh, just got to make sure it's cleaned out every day. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, for now, I still want to get this over there. Um, get two gates on this fence. We'll have two paddocks over there. I'll split it in half. Uh, the pretty long paddocks, they'll be narrow, but they'll be long, so there should be uh, enough room for them, something, another paddock for them to hang out in, a couple paddocks. Uh, until then, I still got that one way over there, uh, which works for now, so we've got this one and that one, um, but that'll probably be next year's project. Uh, for now, I think what I'm gonna have to do is work on getting the second pig's paddock um, 
fenced a little bit better and I'm gonna have to build them a better shelter because that's where we're eventually gonna put the males. Easy, Joy. Hey, 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 easy. You're bigger than him. Uh, so I got, I think about two months to do that, kind of. Uh, so we'll see how it goes from there. It's gonna be a cold one to do that. So, but it's gotta be done soon. So that's what I'll be doing on my days off that I don't work at the home. So um, that's pretty much it though, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Love you guys. Bye.